Jess has achieved so much in her brief lifetime. An attorney, a journalist, an author, a political analyst, and even a political candidate. I am so honored to have a woman who is just so diversified that I don't even know where to start. Sophia Nelson, thank you for joining me on the show. Thank you, that's too kind. You have done a lot. So tell me, just real quick, tell me, give me this. What's the accomplishment you're most proud of? Oh, those two little people in my life, my nieces, uh, they're the best thing ever. All this career stuff's great, but uh, they're the delight of my life. And uh, I don't have my own children, I, I, but I would like some, but my nieces are everything. And uh, that's the greatest achievement, being an aunt. Yeah, they keep you real balanced. They do. They, they keep it real. They keep you straight. They rough you up when need be. They say the most unbelievable things as you could imagine. Uh -huh. And uh, then they keep it your Aunt Sophia, you're nobody special, so that's a good thing. It keeps it good. Wow. Gotta love, <laughs> gotta love the kids. You do. Love um, them. What was it like growing up in a military household? Um, dad was a uh, sergeant, uh, very neat, orderly. Um, um, it was good. I mean, I was born in Germany. I don't remember we left before I uh, was two okay. and then we moved actually back here to South Jersey um, on the other side in uh, Fort Dix and uh, that's kind of where things started and uh, it was very nice um, you know it was okay normal. Did it help bring some order and discipline as you grew up? Everybody that I find out is like kind of a military kid they had that really strict order and discipline in their life. Yeah and I'm the firstborn too which I oh, think okay. is really my, my brother very different personality laid back not at all orderly okay. he's a preacher but okay. you know he's not at all orderly and uh, I'm the organized neat one type A as you can tell as you rattled off those things I yeah. I figured life short and I want to get a lot in before you know you ain't gonna be here no more. Alright so growing up in the household what is it that you exactly aspire to do? I knew I was gonna be a lawyer probably when I was about five uh, really? But that was drilled into. Were you me. holding court in the in the pretty much in the kindergarten? Yeah, I used to, my mom had to go up to school a lot, talk with the teachers because <laughs> I was talking too much and chewing gum too much and okay. kind of being a social butterfly. I've, I've had that tag for a long time, but okay. uh, you know, basically, uh, my parents, like a lot of African American parents, I think, particularly baby boomers, talking to their Gen X or kids. They wanted us to have it all, the brass ring, and oh, right. they were the first generation, you know, to be able to get access and entree, but they really wanted their kids to be doctors, lawyers, engineers, to have that middle, upper middle class life, and uh, so it was drilled in pretty clearly. Yeah, went to law school. American University. American University. Uh -huh. Concentrated on what type of law? You, you don't concentrate in law school. That's interesting. You just you take everything. They make you do it all. But when I got out and I practiced, I worked on the Hill first, on Capitol okay. Hill, as a committee counsel. Um, I worked up here uh, across the river there in New Jersey for Governor Whitman, who was. Everybody uh, always goes across the river. A little secret about Jersey, that's really just southeastern Philadelphia. Oh, I don't <laughs> accept that, but that's okay. Um, and, you know, I worked for Governor Whitman. She was, of course, the first uh, female governor to stay in New Jersey. And um, so I've been all over the place. And then I practiced a little later in my career and did uh, corporate government and intel defense. Uh, law. So I am definitely someone that's done some unique things, as yeah, a black yeah. woman in particular. Now, your political career obviously started working on the Hill. Yep. Talk to me a little about the difference between being a lawyer and being a politician. There or are they one and the same? Yeah, okay. yeah, and you notice that 90, I think it's something like 90% of the members of Congress are attorneys, are attorneys by yeah. trade. You're getting more, some doctors, business people, but usually it is lawyers. I mean, and those professions have all the way back to the foundings of who we are as a nation. Lawyers have, barristers have always been around. Yeah, exactly. So. Does that help when you're in a position like that as a congressman or a senator to have that type of legal background? I think, think it's a liability.